1.9 seconds ahead of Vettel. Let's see if they could still try to stay ahead of him. It's getting a little bit on me. Let's see if I can still try to hold on to, 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 to this lead here. Fast advantage that time. Still thinking, still staying about the, uh, a second and a half away from uh, from Vettel. They got three laps to go.
1.3 seconds. I'm still trying to hold on pedal. All right, two more laps to go. Let's we'll see if we can try to hold off Vettel with a minute and three seconds. And Sebastian Vettel lost a little bit of a gata over in that turn over there. He's uh, slipping and sliding everywhere. And here it is. The white flag is out. One more lap to go. Let's see if we can make it five in a row. As we make it into the final corners here at the uh, take it a little bit easy on that turn over there. Nice, uh, nice racing slide coming through there. I'm trying to keep it under lean mix over there. Let's see if I could try to hold off Vettel for this win. Uh, I don't have to worry about getting surrounded by Mercedes. Now uh, I have to get surrounded by the Ferraris. I'm doing a good job over there coming into the final turns here at the Silverstone Circuit. Now we got that long hard right. Now we have the long easy turn coming into the right. And now into the final apex corner. And then coming into the checkered flag, and I am going to go make it a five banger in a row. I win the Rolex British Grand Prix. My goodness, and I hold that Vettel by about uh, a minute and three seconds. That was a great race, a rainy race at the end in dangerous conditions. An incredible race for racing points. A brilliant performance. 
Well, it was a rainy, brilliant performance, and what a thrilling finish at the end with two safety car periods, and then the Ferraris coming right at my tail, but I hold on with the win. And that is a good win, and that is my sixth win of the season in season one of the Formula One 2013-2019 career mode. Let's see how many career wins I have with the 361 to start with. That'll be my 367th career victory. So what a great job today for me and Sergio Perez. And Sergio Perez finishes in sixth place. But the biggest mover of the day, once again, Lucas Weber. And the McLaren went from 13th to 8th. Good race for Kimi Raikkonen. He ran ninth place. And not a bad race for Lance Stroll in his second race. Well, after last week, he only uh, went one lap in the uh, Austrian Grand Prix and then now finishes in 13th. And then the, the and and we don't see Hamilton and Botez on the list because they both were out of the race with blown motors. And let's take a look at the standings and uh, and now I have a 61 point advantage over Sebastian Vettel, and Charles Leclerc now drops to third. So Sebastian Vettel is now second in the point standings. And after a huge blow for Botez and Hamilton, they don't receive any points. So that means Max Verstappen and Pierre Gasly gain points on uh, Botez and Hamilton. And Sergio Perez, my teammate, still is in eighth place. And Devin Butler ninth, and Lucas Weber tenth. So only the uh, points change uh, for the uh, Sebastian Vettel and Charles Leclerc. But in the constructor standings, we're now. Gained five points behind Ferrari, and now we're in still in second place. So we're 20 points behind the uh, Ferrari, but we will get them. Uh, we'll try to get those constructors' points as much as we can. Well, let's take a look at the highlights of the Rolex British uh, Grand Prix. Let's take a look at what happened in the start of the race, and this is the reason why I had two flashbacks in the race, because I made a couple of contacts with Sebastian Vettel and Lewis Hamilton before he retired from the race. They see me staying right into fourth place, trying to stay at a steady pace. I went around Leclerc to get to third place. Hmm. And then I tried to get around Vettel for uh, for second place. And look at the bumping and banging contact. We were going at it for second, and then I went through there. And there you see the highlights of when the rains came along, then everything has changed. 
Yeah, and take a look at the battle uh, coming near the end of this race, near the closing stages of the Rolex British Grand Prix, as me and Vettel were going at it for the lead. Well, and let's go to our interview uh, right before our closing. So, well, what a great race here in the Rolex British Grand Prix. And now I've won five in a row, and now i got my sixth win of the uh, 2019 Formula One season. <laughs> Pretty much of a little mix of bounce back. Well, I think he learned a few things, uh, but that he, he really had a driver help. But it's more than the other way around when we were teammates in the F2 uh, feeder series. The power advantage was right and handy. The, the power ran, ran beautifully, especially in the uh, dangerous conditions. It sure was miserable, and then everything was uh, changing conditions and, and everything, and uh, and then when the heavy rain conditions ended, then we had two safety cars in the field, but then I dropped a second, and then then I came right back to first within six laps to go, and then and, and then after that, uh, well, we took the lead, uh, stayed there as much as we can, and held on, and then we got the win. Well, that is going to conclude our uh, Rolex British Grand Prix, and uh, on behalf of the Speed Japo 3 and everybody else, uh, I'd like to thank you for watching the uh, Rolex British Grand Prix, and on to the next race will be the German Grand Prix, and hope whether we'll cooperate for the next race. So, uh, I hope everyone enjoys the rest of your night, and uh, good night to everyone. You get plenty of sleep uh, for tomorrow. We have another hot one out there, and everybody enjoy. The rest of the night, and goodbye, everyone.